So this is like a little update, I guess, on where I'm at. I'm laying down in my bed just because I'm like tired. I woke up really early today, and uh, fell asleep like at four in the morning. But today is Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday, I am getting the catheter on my chest taken out. So I've had the catheter doing dialysis, hemodialysis for about six months now. So let me show you. This is the catheter which has to stay covered up because it's an open wound and you get infected. And it's the catheter is connected directly to an important vein in your heart. So I've had this for six months. These are the well, it's covered up, but these are the little two tubes that get connected to the machine, and, you know, drain, clean your blood or whatever. But right here is the main, like, port, which has been so itchy and so irritated. And when I first got it, obviously, I didn't know nothing about it. So, um, I guess I would have, like, um, drainage, like, from the catheter or, like, I guess like stuff would come out of it and usually when that happens that means that it's infected which is not good because it's the artery that's connected to your main to your heart like you know your, your main artery which is very dangerous because your blood your heart you know it can get all get infected but i would get a bunch of tests done like literally i had five or six done where they would um test it and it all came back negative so that doesn't that necessarily doesn't mean that your, you know, the area is infected. It's just my body. It doesn't like, I guess, the catheter being in there. So it's kind of trying to like inject it, which I think like the puss and stuff like that like comes around it. It just it makes it really really itchy. So it has to get clean. But I started my um peritoneal dialysis for like it's been like I started July seventh. So it's been a couple weeks, almost a month. Um, it's going okay. We'll see how it goes. Um, that's the one that I have, um, in my stomach. So, um, like right now I have the tube on my stomach and on my chest, which it makes it very difficult to wear certain stuff, especially during the summer because, like this, I have, it's, this is like a, like a dress that I had on. Obviously, you can see it. And so I have to wear like a little sweater or something. And even then you can still see it and it's hot outside. So it's a lot to like maintain. And then if I do have something to cover this and say I have like a crop top or something. The bandage that I have on my stomach you can see it. So it's like it's really annoying. And then plus when you have this you can't take a regular shower because they can't get wet. Because that's how it gets infected. So that's also you know, really annoying, but when they put it in, they didn't put me to sleep, they just numbed me, and it hurt so bad, it literally hurt for like two months, three months, so this time, they're gonna take it out, they said, um, it's not gonna hurt as bad, and they're not gonna put me to sleep again, they're just gonna numb it, so we'll see how it goes, um, I'll just be glad that when you have, you know, just a PD catheter in your stomach, you can take a regular shower. But I'm still very scared and, like, cautious because, you know, the main thing about doing peritoneal, you know, PD dialysis is you have to be careful with infection. So even though they tell you you can still take a shower, I'm just, like, really weirded out where I don't want to um, take any risk. So, I don't know, but it's, it's been six months since I've had this. I got the thing on my stomach in May. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I just hope it doesn't hurt, and I'm so glad to just be getting this thing taken out of my chest because it's been so itchy, irritated, annoying, and it's like this these two tubes, which, you know, get in the way, which they're, they're just annoying. So instead of having two, two tubes to like worry about, I guess I'll just have one.